In this video, we are going to show you how to define an allergy for a patient using the ATC code. I'm going to start by going to the allergy section, clicking, and these here are the allergen groups. I'm going to change this list to ATC code, and this is the group I want. In the first instance, I want to choose Tramadol. So I could type in T-R-A-M-A-D-O-L and I get Tramadol and Tramadol combinations. Tramadol will only choose the all drugs with Tramadol in it and it will not choose drugs with Tramadol plus paracetamol, for example. So if you want all Tramadols, you have to define an allergy for Tramadol and it's in here at the bottom left. I'm going to get rid of this one because that's one I'm going to talk about in a minute. And I'm going to give another allergy. I'm going to change it to ATC code. And I'm going to type in Tramadol. And I go to Tramadol combinations. Now if I prescribe any Tramadol, and I try and prescribe it, I get an, uh, uh, a warning. Go down to any one of them, prescribe it, and I get a warning. If I go to a drug such as Ixprim, which has got uh, isn't it Ixprim has called I thought it's called Ixprim IX, well that's the generic, sorry, I go back to the brand Ixprim and I try and prescribe that, I'll get an allergy. But I will only get an allergy for the Ixprim because uh, I have defined Tramadol plus combinations. And that's a Tramadol combination there. You see that? I'm going to now choose another drug group. I'm going to try and find an allergy to fluoxetine. So I click the allergy. I'll go to the ATC code. And I will type in fluoxetine, F-L-U-O-X, fluoxetine. And I'll get fluoxetine, and that will be all fluoxetine drugs. So we go to generic, and we type fluoxetine. F-L-U-O-X, fluoxetine, and you've got all the different fluoxetines, Prozac, Prozid, Prozomel, Nortac, and I prescribe any one of them, and I'll get an adverse reaction. The last one, and the trickier one I'm going to show you, is cephalosporins. Now, you can pick a kef any cephalosporin here, such as Keflex, uh, in the brand names, for example. And if you right-click on any of these, just for interest's sake, and go to the bottom, you will see the product information here. See that? And when you see the product information, you see this is the important thing. This is the ATC code for this drug. And it comes under J01. The J means general anti-infectives. 01 means for systemic use. D, J01D, means other beta-lactam antibacterials. You see that? And then you have first-generation cephalosporins and you have cephalexin under J01D. So we have J01DB or DA or whatever. I'm just showing you that for interest's sake. If you want to see the ATC code of any drug, just type up the drug there, right-click on it, and go to Product Information, and you'll see the ATC code of that individual drug. It doesn't give you the ATC code necessarily of the class, but that is the ATC code of that individual drug. This is the ATC code of all first-generation cephalosporins. But it's relatively easy if you go to the allergy again, and you go to the ATC code, and instead of typing it in here, if I type in C-E-P-H-A-L-O, cephalosporins, there are no cephalosporins. I could do a wide search by putting a little space in there, and I'll get cephalosporins anywhere in the line. See that? I just put a space in there, and I got my all my cephalosporins. And I note there are first generation, fourth generation, second and third generation cephalosporins. So in order to get all the cephalosporins, I'd have to put in all of those as allergies. However, I have an easier way of doing this. If I just delete this 
and I click on the little box over here, it'll give me access to the ATC drug code index. So I have a look at this and I go down as far as general anti-infectives for systemic use. See the J there? General anti-infectives. And I go down then to antibacterials for systemic use. They're all J01. And in there I can go down to J 01D. I happen to know this J01D because I looked it up on this drug over here, if you remember. And this, these are actually classified by the IPU, don't ask me why, as other beta-lactam antibacterials. If we open up that, we'll see you have these carbapenems, don't know what they are, first generation, fourth generation, monobactam, second generation, and third generation. So if I just use this instead of going down to one of these, I will get all my cephalosporins in one go, J01D, and I just say OK. And now I have, you see, other beta-lactam antibacterials comes up here, but you wouldn't have typed that in at the start because you wouldn't have known that was the name. And I click OK, and I get other beta-lactam antibacterials down here in the bottom left. So now, if I type Keflex, I get an allergy. If I type uh, Distaclar, I'll get an allergy, any cephalosporin. If I go to the generics and I type CEPH, there's no cephalosporins there, but uh, CEF, cephalosporin, or any of those, and I hit OK, I'll get a uh, cephalexin, I'll get an allergy to all of them. So to just go through the basics once more, if I delete these allergies, yes, delete the tramadol, yes, delete the tramadol combinations, yes, delete the fluoxetine, yes. So if you wanted to get an allergy to a drug and you're not sure if it will get everything and you don't want to use allergy, allergy group, just create an allergy with this icon. Instead of using allergy group, use ATC code. And in the ATC code, you can do a, you can type in the drug, as in the case of tramadol, and you get tramadol and tramadol combinations. You'd have to use the two of them. If you wanted, you could find your tramadol here by using going to nervous system, analgesics, all nervous system drugs are in, analgesics N02, uh, opioids are N02A, X, such as tramadol and tramadol combinations. See that? So you could use the tramadol and tramadol combinations. Now these are another two drugs that you never use, so in fact it might be just as easy to use that other opioids and make them allergic to that. And you'll get an allergy then to all your tramadol combinations as well. T-R-A-M-A-T-O-L. Hit enter and you'll get an allergy. Type in your uh, IX. Uh, go to your thing, your 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 brand names, and you'll still get it. So I just said all oh, other opioids, but I happen to know by looking at them that these included all the tramadols and not much else. And that is the end of this video. Thank you.